Hey guys, Jeeps here, and we're doing another little check-in vlog, because frankly, it has been a while since we've done one of these. Huh. No picture-in-picture picture this time. I don't feel like messing with my webcam. Besides, you don't really need to see me. You can hear me just fine. Whatever. We're good. So, yeah, been a while since we've done one of these. We're just going to get some game footage in the background. This time around, it's going to be the one, the only Borderlands 2. I'm enjoying the hell out of it. As you can see, I'm playing the Assassin, because Zero is awesome. I mean, come on, he's a crazy, probably an alien. That's not a spoiler. He has four fingers on each hand. That's not human. Probably alien assassin dude who speaks mostly in haiku. Come on, that's just cool. But uh, I'm loving the hell out of this game. But that said, I did love the original Borderlands, so I guess that's probably why. I don't think there's anything too spoiler in this. Mostly you're going to see me failing miserably in this little arena thing. This is kind of like the Underdome, or there was another arena in the first one, I believe. It's been a while. Uh, it's nothing spoilery. You're going to see me fail miserably at it because I'm playing this in a 720p window to record, and that's really small, and it makes it kind of hard to see what I'm doing. Also, this is like the third or fourth round of it, and those lab rat enemies are really nasty. If you haven't run into those, you will, uh, you will know. They shoot face lasers. Those face lasers just annihilate your torso. And I find that you need your torsos to be a person. Anyways, getting on to some actual content and why we're here. I'd first like to apologize and address the kind of lack of content over the past week. I've sort of been coasting off the FDL footage, as you've well been aware. And that was done almost a week ago now. The whole thing was recorded in two sittings, if I remember right. And I'm kind of coasting off that. I'm happy to see people have seemed to enjoy it fairly well. Maybe not quite as much as the Tribes material, but it definitely seems to be popular. So, as it is, there's going to be another FTL series coming up with Doc Lettuce and myself. I'll get to that later on in this, however. It's actually pretty awesome and sadly would already be up if not for a lot of technical difficulties, which is another thing I'm going to get into later. But, first of all, the main reason I haven't really been doing a whole lot this week is I'm actually starting a new job tomorrow which would be uh, October 1st, if you're watching this after the fact. And I've been kind of getting ready for that, and been nervous about that, and stuff like that. I'm not going to say exactly what, it's an actual, like, IT job, though, so that's exciting for me! It means my schedule's going to be changing up a lot, in that it will be consistent for the first time in ever. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it's weird, and I've been, yeah, that's been taking up a lot of time, just kind of preparing for that. Because it's a whole new experience for me, so hey! That's why there hasn't been a whole lot of videos in production lately. My free time has just been kind of set to just relaxing. And, I mean, I have still been working at my now old job the whole time, too. So, there's that. Now, on to what I was talking about vis-a-vis -vis the new FTL series. Well, Doc Lettuce and I, it was actually his idea, got together and we are... We've realized, you know what FTL really needs? A multiplayer mode. Now... Hold that thought. I'm sure someone's just like, well, no it doesn't. It's a roguelike, and they don't have multiplayer, which I'm sure, I'm sure there's some roguelike that does. And I don't know why you'd be talking like that. I don't know. See, see how my health just skyrocketed down? That's the fucking lab rats, man. Anyways, so we decided to do something we're calling FTL Versus, which is, we both get on, in this case, TeamSpeak. You can do it with anything, though. If you, if you subscribe to my Facebook page, you will have heard all about this already. But, if you haven't, and by the way, you all go should, I'll pimp that later. FTL versus is, you get on Skype, or TeamSpeak, or Vent, or whatever. We're using TeamSpeak, because we have a TeamSpeak server we use. And you start a campaign at the exact same time, and it's a race to see you can make it the farthest. There's a lot more rules, in general, to that. You're allowed to use any ship you want, you have to play on normal. Because, you know, you could make it fair and both use the same ship, but it's more fun if you don't. So, we're not, we didn't do that. And pretty much you see who can make it the furthest without dying, slash who can beat the... Well, it's to see who can beat the final boss first, but given it's FTL and doing that is extraordinarily difficult. It's more to see who can get the farthest before they die. And then there are rules for if you die, you can restart. And if you manage to catch up to the other player, then the game kind of continues as normal. Otherwise, if they die before reaching the final boss or something, you still count as having died first and they win. And you kind of have to play it with friends because there's a bit of an honor system involved with making this work. But it is extraordinarily fun, and once we get it recording right, I think you'll all enjoy it. Now, the reason it isn't already done is due to massive technical difficulties getting it recorded. We've tried recording this twice now. The first time, 
my computer crashed at the end of recording the first session. We made, I think we both made it around Sector 5, and I did find out after the fact that he died, so I actually did win. It was far enough ahead that he probably could not catch up at that point. So I won round one. Just putting that out there, Lettuce, I run won round one. You know it. I don't care if you say there's no proof, I won round one. And that was pretty awesome. And then we did a second run, which, for whatever reason, just did not record right. For whatever reason, the video file, it would not open. For whatever, I don't know why, but FTL itself crashed when I stopped recording. FTL froze up, and that somehow just screwed with the recording. So, which is sad, because it was an hour and 20 minutes. That would have been a lot of footage for you guys. It would not have been one episode. We both made, I made it to Sector 7, and he made it to Sector 8. It was crazy. It was some of the best runs I've ever seen, for me at least. It was an incredible run for him too. It was so cool, but sadly that footage became, it was, it was 100 gigs of unusable footage. Which sucks. It could not be opened in any video players, couldn't be opened in Adobe. Useless. So, we're gonna try round three. We were gonna try that today, but I had some other computer issues I had to work through. Pretty much I had to get a new network adapter for my computer. I've been having lots of technical difficulties lately, can't you tell? But, so sometime this week we'll record that. It'll take a little bit to edit it, because I'm gonna, he's gonna have to render down his footage and send it to me. We're gonna do picture in picture so you can see, pretty much to prove that we're not cheating. So you can see what he's doing. And if it gets real fancy, I might even have it switch perspectives. I don't know. I haven't decided exactly how I'm gonna edit it yet. We'll figure that out. It'll be cool though. And it was, I will tell you right now, it is one of the more fun things I have played in a long time. Playing that game versus mode is amazing. If you have a friend who has FTL, and you can either like get on laptops and hang out in the same room, or over Skype or something, I encourage you, try this out. It is awesome. It adds this whole other reason to take crazy risks, in that you want to go faster than the other person through the sectors, but that also means you're getting less good shit. Oh, it's, it's so much fun. And I cannot wait to actually have real footage of it to use and show you guys, because God, it was good. Ah, oh, so good. So good. Well, that's mostly what I wanted to talk about here today. I figure I might go into some of the future plans for the channel, though. The next big thing I am looking forward to, as again, if any of you are following the Atna Gaming Facebook page, it's just facebook.com slash Gaming, or I don't think anyone subscribed to me on Twitter, but if you subscribe to me on Twitter, player underscore two, T-W-O, like player two, the words with an underscore between them. I've been talking a lot about MechWarrior Online, which is a game I am extremely excited for, and I have found out, they posted on the forums of, I am allowed to tell you I am in the beta for it. I'm allowed to tell you that much. Can't tell you anything about it, it is under NDA, but they have relaxed enough so that you can tell people you're in the beta now. That's all you're getting out of me. Yeah, I like it a lot, though. But you didn't hear that here. But yeah, um, when the NDA drops, which will probably be open beta, which means you guys will be able to get in on it, expect a lot of stuff on MechWarrior Online. I am really looking forward to this game, and what of it I've played, even though I shouldn't say this, I have enjoyed it. I'm not going to tell you any details, other than I have enjoyed myself a lot, especially playing with other people you know. So that's all you're getting out of me. But as soon as I'm able, expect quite a lot of content on that. I'm hoping to get in on this nice and early, right at the beginning, get some really good informative content, because frankly, especially if you've never played a MechWarrior game before, they're, they're complicated. They're not your standard shooter by any means. And that is awesome. So, you'll be seeing that hopefully in the next few months. I uh, really don't know. I don't know when that game's going to open beta exactly, or if that's when the NDA is going to drop, or whatever. But trust me, you will be among the first to know from me. I can guarantee that. Looking forward to it immensely. Absolutely immensely. So that's the next big thing coming down the pipes. In other news, I'm pausing the Rain Slick Prespice playthrough, because frankly, no one really cared. And I'll be honest, I was getting kind of bored with it. After I played Rain Slick 3, the Z-Boyd game, I, playing the Hothead ones are just painful. They're so not nearly as good. I'm tempted just to... St I might do some, like, couple, like, two-episode summary thing of two, and then skip to three, and do a th thing of three, because, frankly, Rain Slick 3 is really good. And, uh, yeah. For now, that's on pause. Obviously, so is Sacrifice, because one day I will finish Sacrifice. One day. One day. Maybe. I don't freaking know. 
And uh, Super Mario RPG will keep going, because I'm just enjoying playing that again. I just haven't had all of our time. Blame Borderlands if you really want. This game's sucking up too much of my time. Also blame Skyward Sword, because I finally went and started playing that. I like that a lot. I know that's kind of controversial, because some people really don't like Skyward Sword. I think it's great. I think it's great. <sighs> all right, my friends, that is probably it for now. Apologies again for the lack of, like, really good actual content lately. But, hopefully things should be back in order kind of during or after this week. Now, like I said before, if you would like to follow me on Facebook, it is facebook.com slash atnagaming. You'll be able to get posts on the newest videos, just my kind of random BS crap. I don't know, you can hear what I'm doing. It's cool, right? Yeah. And also, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, I am player underscore two, and that is T-W-O, not the number two. It is player underscore T-W-O. At Player2. That's me. You should follow me on Twitter if you have Twitter. You can listen to my random crap and see when I upload videos, because YouTube automatically posts it to my Twitter account. So yeah, that's it for now, my friends. As always, like, subscribe, share, comment, all those good things that you know I like when you do. I've been Jeeps, and I will talk to you.